Now let's move on to a real demo. So we're gonna show here uh, a real-time credit demo, basically credit risk forecasting. When someone is applying a request for a new loan, we need kind of in real time to approve or deny the, the request. The architecture of the demo is built based on the solution that we've just presented. You have the Informatica Integration Hub, uh, which enables you in a pub sub manner to publish the data and to, the, to subscribe to the data by various application. You have the Informatica Enterprise Data Catalog, which basically provides you the metadata management of the actual uh, data store. And you have the Insight Edge uh, Gigaspaces platform, which enables you uh, to trigger both the different types of machine learning, machine learning pipelines. In this demo, we'll show two pipelines. One is the historical data, which is published to train the, the machine learning model, and then the real-time events that are triggering the machine learning model, the streaming job to actually run the model, predict uh, the uh, chances for the subscriber to pay back the loan, and based on that, publish the solution, the, the result or the score of the model. Now, the actual data set itself is based on the subscriber characteristics. Each subscriber which requests a loan has 21 different attributes. Uh, is the raw data, like gender, age, whether it's married or not, the duration of the request or the account balance, uh, and, and, and so on. Now, once, uh, once an hour, the historical data set it trigger is loaded in a batch to trigger a Spark training job on Insight Edge. So once it's published through the integration hub, it's, it triggers, it loads and triggers the machine learning training job to basically train, validate and package the model. Now when an actual request is coming from the mobile application, the, each event in real time is triggering the Spark streaming job on Insight Edge, which basically it's a, run forest uh, classification algorithm runs on the on the no request and provides a score uh, or basically it's a classification a yes or a no whether to approve or deny the loan and then the the decision uh, is published back to the application and also to a dashboard or a bi tool in this use case so let's see how it works okay so i've logged into the uh, integration hub in the cloud. Here you can see you have four different uh, types of, uh, of topics. One is you have the applications here. Application could be a CRM or ERP. Uh, Insight Edge is one of the application. Of course, it could be a mobile application. You have the topics, which are basically similar to tables or specific data sets. So this is the, the credit data set, which we've just shown, and I'll show you in a second. And then each application is able to either publish a topic or to subscribe to different topics. When you subscribe to a topic, you can subscribe based, it could be in real time, it could be on an hourly or daily batch, it could be any scheduler, the type of scheduling. So if I will click on the Insight Edge application, you can see that Insight Edge basically subscribe to the two pipelines just, which we've just shown. One is the historical data which triggers, uh, which loads in a batch manner the training data, the historical data to, to train the model. And you have the real time data and the actual requests that are triggering the actual machine learning models, the prediction and publish the score. Now, the actual, the actual data set itself is, can be shown here. This is the 21 different attributes that we've shown earlier. The actual balance sheet, the duration of the request, the amount of the request, the, the, the gender, the marriage status, the age, and all those aspects, the characteristic of the user. On top of it, we also can see from a more 
generic point of view, the German cre the, the credit data set is actually published not just in real time to Insight Edge, but it's also published in a batch manner to other system, for example, the auditing system and the archiving system. So as you can see, it's kind of a mix of you have the real time decision making, but also compliance stuff and archiving stuff and auditing that are subscribed to the same data set based on their own needs. And the actual subscription, as you can see here, the subscription is done through an API, uh, utilizing the standard API that exposed by Informatica using the REST API. So you can easily register uh, uh, to a notification URL, which triggers every time a new event is coming. Now, if you go to the Zeppelin Notebook, which is an interactive development tool that is part of Insight Edge, you can easily see the object definition, which again is correlated to the data set that we've seen earlier with all the 21 attributes that we've seen before. Now we can see that all the, the entire uh, pipeline is built uh, based on the standard Spark uh, data set and data frame API. So here you initialize the Spark context, you trigger the machine learning training pipeline based on a random forest classifier that you can see here. Um, and then once the prediction pipeline is triggered, basically we, we prepare the feature vector, feed it to the machine learning model, get the score, the yes or no kind of decision. And as you can see here, we publish it back through the integration hub to the mobile application and the BI tools, which is Tableau in this specific example that we'll show you in a second. Now, you can also visualize the processing part. Here you can see that the number of requests that were approved, around 34% out of the total requests that were processed in the specific demo. And here you can see every second, the amount of approved requests out of total. Uh, on every given second. Now, if if we go to the Tableau dashboard that we built, so we basically use the Insight Edge native connector to Tableau here that gives you a live feed. Um, you can see a, a live feed here, live connection. So the data is being updated on a continuous manner. It's not a cached on the Tableau side. And on top of it, we basically have built uh, a real-time uh, dashboard that shows you different aspects of the data and the decision-making. So first of all, you can see here for each one of the 21 attributes, which attribute contributed more to, this, to the decision to approve or deny a loan. So for example, you can see that the average age of the approved one was around 39.1, while the average age for the denied uh, requests were around 32. So based on the difference between the two bars, you can see which one contributed the most. So if you take, for example, the balance sheet, or if you take the duration of the loan, that you can see that the duration for 20, the average duration for the denied one were four years longer than the one that were approved and so on. Now you can also look at the every second at the approval rate. So the number of one that of requests that were approved or not. And also you have here a summary of the process and the approval total sum of the one. So all in all, it's very easy to kind of uh, slice and dice the data and look at different types of dimension and get real time understanding of the system and the decision making in the background. Now, if we go back, so as we showed in the demo, you can see the two pipelines, both for the training job and the streaming and the prediction part, which everything is kind of provide you an end-to-end -end solution from the research to the data discovery, to the data governance and all the enterprise and operational aspect around the solution and the ease of use to kind of use standard API, whether it's Spark, whether it's Tableau for 
visualization and other types of tool to get kind of a, a, a real time reports and dashboard in different levels of within the enterprise, whether it's for the operational team or whether it's for the management team and other kind of, of, of groups within the organization. 